You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of social distancing. A dimension where toilet paper is a precious commodity. We've just crossed over into a Twilight Zone. Hello friends and welcome to the Shelter in Place edition of This Week in Gambling. Las Vegas is closed, Atlantic City is closed, Monaco and Macau are closed. In fact, at this point, I don't even think you can buy a damn lottery ticket at the 7-Eleven. However, just because the world has come to a screeching halt because of a pandemic, doesn't mean that it's all bad news. In fact, the coronavirus is having a surprising effect for one industry, and that is this week's big story. Now let me preface this by saying, I realize people have died from this. In no way am I trying to make light of that. However, the simple truth is that when land-based casinos shut their doors, players still want to play. And these days, more and more, they're looking online, even in America. However, the big news is not that players are heading to web-based gambling sites. No, no. It's that land-based casinos, sports books, and poker rooms are hemorrhaging money every day, and they may have to seriously consider going online just to survive. In states where online gambling is legal, operators are seeing a surge in new players, even as land-based operators watch their profits evaporate. And in states where gambling is legal, but they haven't regulated online gambling, believe me, they're taking notice of this. States that have resisted or dragged their heels on this whole internet gambling thing due to moral objections or perhaps thinking it would cut into their tax revenues, well, they may have to rethink that strategy and soon. And when they do, my friends, that could lead to an online gambling revolution in America. So while this coronavirus is certainly not a good thing, Ironically, it could fast-track internet gambling legislation in some states. Online casinos and poker rooms could see a rebirth here in the U.S. Sports betting? That may take a while, because no one's playing any games to bet on. This week's special promotion is for Wicked Bet. Casino City has an exclusive offer for Wicked Bet and thousands of other sites. Visit online.casinocity.com for details. This week's brand new game review is for the My Cousin Vinny slot machine from our friends at Aristocrat a five-reel, four-row game with the extra real power feature, giving players 1,024 ways to win. Delivered on the ARC double cabinet, it comes with a frequent wheel bonus and a startup progressive of $500,000. You can find this review and more when you visit our YouTube channel. And while you're there, please do us a solid and subscribe. And if you click that bell, you'll get updates every time we upload a new video. Finally this week, in these trying times, the Miami Herald has published an article about what you can use if you run out of toilet paper, including tissues, napkins, paper towels, although those things might not be safe to flush. Funny they didn't mention you could use the Miami Herald, Believe it or not, they recommended baby wipes, tampons, store receipts, even the cardboard tube left over from the roll of toilet paper. I don't know why they didn't recommend corn cobs. Huh. You know, I remember as a kid standing in my neighbor's yard, throwing rolls of toilet paper up into their trees and watching them cascade all around. If I'd only known 
if I'd only known. Time to make the donuts.